So what I wanted to do today are a few different kinds of things that help us learn all the magic of the Max Pack. And I am so thrilled that you guys are here. You have no idea. It's my very first Zoom meeting to do this. And I love you all and appreciate your support. So what I'm going to do to get started is, first of all, just make sure your area is clear for safety. You're not going to step on anything and you have some room to move around and you got a water bottle and a towel because we're going to get a lot sweaty. I'm already sweaty. In fact, I think I should just put my hair up in a hair clip. I was trying to have it be workable, but it is too sticky out here. So here we go. We're going to really rock up a lot of uh, core work and upper body stretching, breathing. So here's one more thing. I know some of you have the whole set. Some of you have a set plus an extra red. Some of you have just a red or just an aqua or just a blue. So whichever one you have, use it the best way you can. I'll show modifications. If you have questions, I'm not gonna be able to read them from here because I can't wear my glasses and see you. So Barbara is gonna let me know what the questions are. And at the end, um, we will answer all your questions and then we can all say hello and meet each other and I would like to know, as, as the creator and developer of this amazing workout implement that you guys all have, what's your favorite thing? How do you like to use it the most? What is your favorite exercise? What else would you like to do? And how else you can apply it with so many things? So here's what we're first going to do to get started. We have a lot to show you. And one of the very first things, you guys can all see me standing up. Am I in the camera? Okay. So first, what we want to always do, no matter what it is, we always want to warm up. And when we warm up, we also want to make sure that our body is in structural alignment. So posture, balance, alignment, and then we're going to add the breathing. And the reason I want to share the breathing with you is that's the key to shredding and fat burning and muscle building to use the oxygen in your body. So when we first start, I want to show you that your balance should always be as close to 50-50 and organized. When I say organized, we want to make sure our toes are forward, our knees are forward, our hips are forward, our shoulders, our nose, our chin, and our sternum are all in alignment. So that's your posture from the crown of your head through your body, like a ballerina in the jewelry box. When you flip it up and the pole goes right through and she is completely on her vertical axis. So we're not leaning in, we're not leaning over to the side, not unless we're doing a stretching exercise, which we're gonna to get to soon. But for structural alignment and posture, 50-50 weight distribution. Most people stand like this or stand like this, standing around, and your weight is on one leg, your butt cheek hangs over, the back of your knee, the posterior cruciate ligament sticks out, and we flop to one side, and our back is like a hook shape. And when we're tired of it, we keep swinging back and forth. And all day long, it turns the body out of alignment. So one of the best ways to use the max pack is when you practice your structural alignment. That helps make you tall and gorgeous, first of all. It helps lift up the rib cage so that it opens up the diaphragm that you breathe better and get more oxygen in. We can only get in oxygen through our nose and our mouth. It might fluffle out the bottom, but it only comes in this way. And there are two tiny little entryways. And if we have our throat bent and our abs bent up, we're cutting off our air and we're on very little oxygen uptake that our body needs so much of it if we're revving up our energy to work out. And we need it anyway just for every cell to work. You have bajillions of cells in your body and every one of them has its own life force and every one of them has the need for extreme fresh oxygen. So when we're going to do our warm up, we're going to really focus now on how to breathe in beautifully and deeply instead of taking in a teaspoon in your super sternal knot. So many people breathe like this. And it's this tiny little amount, but you need to get it all the way down into your belly, all the way down into the diaphragm. And that takes some practice because we've been breathing short and fast in stressful mode all day long. So slowing down the breath and utilizing it throughout the full range of motion when we work out is what's really going to help you develop the muscle strength and structure and toning because we're going to hold the load on the muscle longer with the breath. And I'll explain it as we get to that. So first of all, put your feet 50-50 weight distribution, 
Zip up through the middle on your spinal column, right to the crown of your head. And take a big, I'm gonna put my max pack through my quads right here. So I'm gonna just show this to you right now. If you have the red one, stick it between your quads and squeeze. It's gonna help you be strong in your abs. And I want you to lift up your arms, open up big, take a big inhale through your chest, all the way down into your belly, and then exhale it out. Squeezing your abs. I want you to breathe all the way through your nose, through your windpipe, down into the brachial tubes, all the way down into the diaphragm. Our belly should come out to fill up and should pull in to exhale. When we practice this type of breathing, inhale, push out to get the air down, and exhale. This is a killer ab workout all the time. No matter what exercise you do, you're doing your abs. So let's try it one more time. Take an inhale, lift your arms up, Exhale, squeeze your abs. And next time when you lift up and breathe in, squeeze your quads together and your abs and your butt cheeks all at once. Inhale, lift and breathe. A little squeeze. Pull those abs in. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, squeeze. This is called your sandwich grip. I have them all foods because everybody remembers food and you have to work this hard to burn all these foods off. The sandwich grip obviously looks like you're eating in a sandwich. It's two handed and I want you to get the max pack all the way in the corner of your hand and get your fingers on it. The key to the max pack success is in the grip by your fingers like playing piano. Dig your fingertips in and your thumb and squeeze it together and squeeze it down. And already before we even go anywhere, your arm is already activated. You can see already through that forearm, just my thumb, my index finger, my ring finger, my pinky, look how much activation in the arm I'm already getting. So that's why it is so important to really grip the max pack. I see so many people opening their fingers on dumbbells or anything else. We're losing all the work if our fingers are flittering around. So make sure no matter which way you're doing it, you get your fingertips on it, okay? So here's your sandwich grip. Then we have flat like a pizza. That's for pressing and making the body work offside on one side of the body. Pizza press. Then we turn it like a hot dog or taco bun this way. So again, it still fits in the hand. And now this is a di more difficult grip because the pull of gravity and the wobbliness is requiring more work on the thumb, the fist, the wrist, and the fingers. So this is the taco hot dog grip. Then I have another one. It's like clapping, you like press your fingers on it like a pancake press. This is called the pancake press. And your hands are pushed in, fingertips are on, thumbs are grabbed, and we use it to push out, push up, do our stretches side to side, and then we add in all our body, lower body work. Okay, so that one is the pancake press. Then we have claw grip for our swings and reverse claw grip for our swings. So you can either put your fingertips on top and dig in and grab behind. And then we grab behind this way. This is a more comfortable modified grip. And I like to use it like that too. Then we have, like I said before, we have the knee squeeze, which is in the quads which when we get to our abs, this always fires up the quads. There's four muscles in the quads and it travels all the way up into the lower abdominals. So anytime you ever put this in your legs, which is whenever you can, you are always gonna get so much more muscle activation, not just here. Okay, so let's do a small cardio warm up with our, whatever one you have. So if you have the red one or blue or aqua, if you have the aqua, use your aqua, but whatever one you have, stay with this. And I wanted to just say one of the reasons I don't have music going on, which we all love our music, I just didn't want it to be a distraction for the instructions because I wanted this class to really be instructional so that you get the best benefit and use out of your max pack safely and effectively to get the results that you want. So that's why I didn't have the music because sometimes you can't hear over it. So, all right, so this is what we're gonna do. If you have red, 
and your aqua, or if you just have your aqua, here is a nice, light, little warm-up. If anyone has any knee issues, I want you to just step softly like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if you have your eight pound red, you can press up and pull down. Press up and pull down. So someone who has knee issues, go slow and gentle. And the rest of us, here is a nice three minute warm up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two up, three, four on the floor. And run it as fast as you can. Go slow first, then medium, and then kill it. And that's how you're gonna really burn some fuel here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here, slow, pressing up, pressing up. One, two, three, four, switch your feet. Stay in tight with your bottom of your toes. Get your toes push off through the max pack. Now add it up. Let's go, get some speed. Press it up, squeeze your fingers, abs, and butt. Push it up. And go back down slow if you need to modify. And bring it back and forth, okay? So this I call the aqua trot press up because I'm on my aqua. If you have the blue or the red, doesn't matter. Here's what it looks like on red. If you only have the little one, and I invite you to try the other sizes if you don't have them, it's just like this. One, two, three, four. It's tighter, it's closer, but it still works. You have to be very mindful of your step, but you can always do it. If you only have the small one to do this, you can always use dumbbells, extra if you don't have any other max packs. Okay, so that is a quick, easy, beginning warm up right after your um, breathing exercise. And so here is another way that we can add oxygen in with breathing between our sets. So I like to do a stretch and a breath somehow between each rep of exercises to continue getting oxygen in the body even when we're tired. So step back a little bit and if you want to, step on your aqua ones, which are great for mushing in. First, before we start, step on it and mush your heels in. Squeeze your abs. No one ever goes to the gym and goes, I'm gonna exercise my feet or massage them. But digging in really tight with your feet and your toes, making circles, Pressing on your heels, stretches your calves, stretches your arches, makes you pull your abs in, hold your spinal column straight up, go up on your toes and do calf lifts. This is great for balance. If you wanna add your red one, press it up. Tricep press with sandwich grip. Back and forth. And then put your feet balanced on it or just stand on the floor and take your sandwich grip, press it straight up and let's lean over, lift up as tall as you can, full range of motion up out of the pocket. So not having your arms loosey goosey, but press it way up and lean over here at 12 o'clock right now, straight up in the air. Lean your body all the way over to the right side and then take a breath from your hip to your armpit. Like a banana, take a breath in the side body. And when you do, press the left heel down as you're stretching the left side. Exhale to the center and lean to the left. Press your right heel down and breathe the side body from your hip to your armpit and get air in there. Come back up to center. Lean way, way, way back. Lift up, look up. Breathe into the belly and lean up to the front. Pull it straight down, add a little baby squat. Push your tush way back because I don't want your toes over your knees. Press straight up, lift up, lean to the right, breathe on the left side, come back to center, breathe on the left side, come back to center, sit it down, try a tricep press behind your head, and come back up. 
So this can be its workout in and of itself. So press it up to the right. Breathe in the center, to the left. Breathe up, squat it down, squat it up. Let's get going, let's try this. Pull it down in the front, push it up. Lean to the right, squat it down, push it up. Lean to the left, squat it down, push it up. Tricep press, sit down, press it up. Pull it down, press it up, to the right. Down squat, press it up, to the left. Squat, press it up, tricep press. And let's press it forward, out, in, up, back, up, down, forward, in, up, back, up, in, out. Every time we do that, we push our feet through the max pack or if you're standing on the floor, push through the ground with your heels. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your butt. Press the full range of motion so that you really get the full effect. It's such a short amount of time that this works because you're so burnt up everywhere you go that you can get twice as much workout in half the time. So everybody get a sip of water for a second if you need it. I sure do, because the garage is hot. Hang in. If you're sweaty, wipe off. Okay, so that was a quick, easy set with just doing the sandwich grip on your Aquamax pack for your simple presses. And for everybody's modification, you go slower, you go lighter, and or step on the ground. But you're always wanting to squeeze the max pack as much as you can the whole way through the entire range of motion. So let's review range of motion, ROM. Many times people press up and down, they go like this. But a full range of motion is all the way up and a smidge more out of the pocket. And the reason that that's really important out of the pocket is you make more strength in that space and it allows you to have a longer reach with more power. If we only go like this, that's as strong as you are for as far as you can go. And so when we only do this in the short time, you get a little puppy muscle, but you can't put your arm all the way out and pull in something from the farthest extremities away from you. So the fullest range of motion is the most important thing that you can really do because it requires you to really push all the way through your body. And then when you come back down, we don't just bounce, we pull all the way down in the back. So that in one full motion, you get all the way up using your shoulders and your chest. And when you pull down, you get your lats, your rhomboids, all the way down through the back of the body. So you're working the front and the back all at one time in every exercise if you're really pushing your full range of motion and pulling. And that's a key, key factor in the success of the max pack. It's squeezing, it's pressing, it's pulling, it's breathing, it's balancing, it's grounding, it's using the force of gravity against the force of gravity with your own body mechanics and muscle power. So that's why the max pack is so effective with shorter amount of reps. You don't really, for me on some of them, they're so powerful that I do five or six, and we're gonna get to those. Okay, so if you wanna try um, just our cardio movements, I'm gonna back up here just a little bit, make sure you have a little bit of space. We're gonna go side to side a little bit for our cardio squat swings, okay? So hold your max back if you want in the reverse claw grip. Hey, everybody got that? Let me see what you guys are up to. Let's see, everybody doing that? Hi, Kamisha. Hi, Tracy. Okay, dig your fingers in. Open your feet a little bit more than hip width apart. Okay, and we're gonna swing through almost like a kettlebell, but we're not gonna have any injury here. So we're gonna stand straight up, push our heels, and we're gonna look like the letter A. So we swing through the middle, press up and squeeze your tush and push. Inhale back, exhale up. 
Inhale, back and really whip it up. Squeeze your fingers, abs, and butt. Fab workout, F-A-B, fingers, abs, and butt. Inhale, exhale, swing it up now, get some power. One, and two, and three, and exhale. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Now we're gonna add some lateral movement. Step to the left, feet together up, open through the middle, feet to the left, open through the middle, feet, open, together, open, together, open, together, open, together, open, last round, together, open, together, and rest. Woo! That's cardio squat swings. Let's get a sip of water. Everybody take a rest. Hopefully you are getting some sweat going on. You're taking a breather. Everybody take, get your water. It's really, really important to hydrate. Every time between my sets to recover, recover is a process of homeostasis. And what that means is whether you're exercising or swerving another way of a car or someone yelling on the phone or you're excited watching a happy movie, your heart rate, your blood pressure, and your adrenaline are always pumped up. Heart rate, blood pressure, and adrenaline spews off your adrenal glands, off your kidneys. And that's very, very acidic when cortisol runs through your body all the time. Exercise induces that as well. So what we wanna do in our lives is bring down cortisol as much as possible. It's only for fight or fight in an emergency. We're not supposed to be having to spew around all the time. So when we get jacked up like this, our recover process in between our sets helps the body come back to homeostasis, which is a normal plateau of being even keeled. And then you take a few more breaths and then you're revved up and ready to go. So you're not wound down and, and bottom of the barrel trying to do your next set when you're too tired. So between my sets, I always, always, always drink water. The hydration, first of all, removes lactic acid, rehydrates every cell because you're sweating. It helps remove toxins from the body and it also controls your temperature so that when we're heated up, we want to be able to cool down. And taking your sip is imperative because also later on the next day when you feel muscle soreness, drinking water helps reduce the delayed onset muscle soreness, the DOMS, that most people feel the next day. And they, they always go, oh, I didn't work out good because I don't feel sore. No, you worked out great. You kicked your butt on it, but you don't need to have your eyeballs hanging out bloody to think that you had a good workout. So if you're not working out, if you're not drinking water when you're working out, you will have more effects of the onset muscle soreness. And that's, you don't have to kill yourself to be in radiant health and in good shape and tone, okay? The next thing is you want to take a couple really deep breaths and get out the carbon dioxide buildup. Take a big inhale and exhale, get it out. Again, I like to do my stretches. Take that breath in and out and stretch. And your blood pressure. A lot of times we get jacked up and it's fire hosing through our veins. And we want to slow that down like a lazy river. So you have to imagine that your body and your, and your heart Instead of going like this, like an eye drop squirter, you want to slow that down. Like fanning a fire with a bellow. I know that's old, but there is such a thing. But slow your body down. Slow your body down. Tell your body to be quiet. And tell your body to take in more oxygen. Tell your body to hydrate. And then when you feel all back to normal, you jack it back up with all your might on the next exercise, barring any injury where you need to modify to go slow. I just want to qualify that. All right, let's pick up our red max pack one more time. We're gonna do a squat twist press. It's similar to the squat twist swings. We're back in our sandwich grip. Open your feet hip width apart. Again, it's a squat. And let's review that squat. I don't like the squat where your knees fall over your toes. I want you to back your booty up like it's going down an elevator shaft. I know that sounds kind of silly, but you don't wanna have the pressure on your knees over your toes. So you wanna back that up. It flattens your back, so we don't wanna be like this. We want to have a nice strong back, so this helps work out the back of our back, back of our hamstrings, our quads, and that's our abs. So we take our sandwich grip, and we squat down. If you can get your elbows to your knees and push through your heels, squeeze your tush and push. 
We do it like this. Squat. Twist the back leg. Press. Squat. Here comes the garbage guy. Sorry. Twist and press. Squat. Press. And this press, I want you to get your whole line of your body. Hold on. I want you to get the whole line all the way like a two by four. So when you step back, press that back heel down so you really get that whole open stretch. You come down and sit, pivot on the back leg, and be in this big, long, pushing, pulling, pushing, pulling, pushing, pulling, okay? We're gonna do 10, which is five on each side. Ready? Take an inhale breath. Exhale, press, squat, twist and press, squat, twist and press, squat, twist and press, squat, twist, press, twist, press, twist, press, what number am I on? Twist, press, 74, twist, 74, and press. Okay, so sometimes when I do the squat, twist, press, I immediately then do my squat swings, in a row. So if you really want to jack up your cardio, you can maybe do two sets in a row, the swings and the squat, press, tw squat, twist, press. I get a little ahead of myself. Anyway, so see how quick you can rev up your cardio just by squeezing and pressing and squeezing and pulling in both directions. Everything has an up and down, in and out, forward, back. And if we really apply the forces of gravity, and the force of our muscle, the most we can in the grip, in the press, in the exhale, in the grounding, all at once. The combination and the focus to be able to put all your internal body parts together at one time, that's where the killer workout is with the max pack. And I also wanna throw this in before we start. If anyone's ever dropped the weight on their foot, the max pack is not gonna hurt you. Here is my Eight pounds, just bounces off. Here is my 24 pounds, right? So the safety factor of the max pack while you're using it, that's something I always want you to keep in mind, that when you use it, it is gonna be comfortable and safe and effective for you at everything that you do. So if you dropped it on your floor and you have tile or you have wood, it's not gonna crack your tile, it's not gonna dent your wood, and it's not gonna smash your toes, which was probably one of the most important things <laughs> I was thinking of when I made them. Okay, how are we doing, everybody? Any comments or questions that uh, anybody wants to say or tell me what's going on? How's everyone feeling? I know I'm running through a lot of stuff. Okay, so Alex, I'm sure that's not Alex, says, says my legs and butt are feeling the burn my legs and butt are feeling the burn yay and Israel said burn burn okay good all right guys so let me see what time we have we, got, we have some time so let's keep going with some more workouts with our upper body and then we'll get down to abs and then we'll get down to some more lower body i just have so much i'm trying to just get through all the basics some of these are on the website and some of these are not on the website so that you get an advanced view of some of the videos I'm gonna start putting out so that you can see all the different ways to use them. So let's go switch to one side. We've been using the sandwich grip that offsets the weight because both your hands and it's even through the middle of the body, right? But if you hold it flat, like the pizza, we're in a pizza grip right now, you can combine all those exercises one side at a time, which puts more work on, the, on each individual side of the body, which requires more force and more work against gravity and more coordination. So we're gonna try it just standing still, feet together. Now here's another um, tip on the max pack, is when you have any type of press or movement, most people stand 50-50 with the hip width apart, which is always safe and if you have any issues, stand that way. But if you wanna shred your abs more, put your feet together. And the reason is when your feet are 50-50, they stabilize you. You have uh, a wider range of balance to tip over. But you put your feet together and you don't have that, your ab immediately gets called to gear, into gear. Hold on so I don't fall. If I go to this, I got a very, very short amount of range before I would fall over. And you want that 
because you want to really nail your abdominals. So feet together if you can. Lift up your back nice and tall. Pull your shoulder blades back. Stretch. So we're going to try right hand first. Stretch your left arm out. Lift up the ribs. Take an inhale first to start. Get the air in. Exhale. Push up. Full range of motion. Want your bicep by your ears. Pull it down. Push it up. Pull it down and pull your elbow back behind you. So you pull into your lats and traps in that pocket and push it up from your shoulders and your chest. Pull it down into your lats and traps. Push it up in your shoulders and chest. Let's do five to 10, whatever's good for you. Inhale in, exhale up. Breathe in, come in. Breathe out, go out. Breathe in, come in. Breathe out, go out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, push it up, nine, and 10. Well, we're supposed to do just standing. I always immediately go into the squat. I just can't help myself. Do the pancake press, switch over to your feet on the other side. That's how I switch sides. Okay, 10 more on the left. Inhale in, exhale up. Get those fingers on it, get your thumb pads on it. Inhale in, press it up. Breathe in, coming in and down. Breathe out, going out. When, let's count, one, two, three, pull it to the back, four, up the shoulders, five, six, seven, eight, all the way down, nine, ten, back to the center. You guys feeling that? Thumbs up if you're feeling that. Okay. Let's do the same routine all over again in the hot dog taco press, okay? Hold it like the hot dog or taco bun. Get your thumb in and squeeze it. Shoulders out and straight up. Press it up, one and two. You could twist it, three. Get more work in the shoulder, four. Pull it down, push it up. 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 Add a squat, push it up, squat, push it up. You can add a squat to anything. What number am I on? I'm a terrible counter. And press, go till you get that burn. And switch sides. By that time, your shoulder is ready to switch sides. Left side, pull it down, press it up, pull it down, press it up, pull it down, press it up, pull it down, press it up. Let's add a little squat. Pull it down, press, pull, press, pull, press, pull. Ground your heels, squeeze your abs, fingers, abs, and butt. Push it up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Woo! Let's take a break, take your breath. Recover, heart rate down, blood pressure, adrenaline heart rate. So instead of having it jacked up, take your water. Cool yourself down. Hydrate. Flush lactic acid out. Up. I just spill water on my hands. Hang on. I have water just watching you. <laughs> just got my water out. Sorry, guys. Okay. All right, everybody taking a breath. Heart rate. Bring your blood pressure down. I want you to see like a lazy river going through your arms, not a fire hose. And for your adrenal glands, where they're spewing cortisol, like Mount Vesuvius or a sprinkler cap popped off, bring that down. Turn off all the faucets in your house, in your mind, and stop the flow. When we do these mindful methodologies, truly, they have an amazing effect on the well-being of your body. At all times, I'm going to qualify this as 100%. At all times, you have the power and the ability to control the biology of your body. Just simply slowing down, focusing on your breath, lowering your heart rate by a slow exhale. I want you to move like a lava lamp. At any time, if you are stressed out, jacked up, or freakazoiding out, your breath and your blood pressure and your adrenaline can be lowered because you are lowering it. 
And there's such beauty and amazing wisdom within our bodies always that when we stop to listen and feel what it's saying and talking to us to do to care for it, your body will be the most amazing. And I love that word amazing because it's, I'm always amazed at life. And I'm amazed at the life force in this body, the ability of your body to grow and breathe and do and fix itself without you having to tell it because it knows what to do. You just have to help it with nutrient foods, lots of water, great kick-ass exercise, some good sleep, happy prayerful thoughts, color in a coloring book, go kiss somebody, hold hands, pet a dog, and in, enjoy living your life. The Max Pack, I'm gonna segue here, isn't just a product. It's a lifestyle. It's, it has so much meaning in why I created it. The empowerment words are the words that I live by. Strength, integrity, endurance, and commitment. And strength isn't just the strength in your muscles. It's the strength of who you are as a human being on this planet. And integrity is the truth and honor with which you live even when nobody is looking. Endurance isn't just how far you can run, but with discipline and determination, can you endure hardship and make it to your goals and come home alive? I say that to the military. You have to have these principles within yourself and commitment is the promise to do all that. You're truthful to who you are, your family, God, your country, those you love and, and, and to your own self. And that's why I emboss those words on the max pack. And I, I'm so proud of it and I love it so much and the goodwill and, and benefit and the love behind it for all of you to use it and have thriving, powerful, alive bodies. I sign my company and my name on it just to prove to you that I believe everything that I am telling you I do so that when you incorporate these methods, they will work for you and help make all the changes and, and dreams come true in your life about how fit you want to be, how strong you want to be, how confident you want to be, and how you want to live your life. And when we work out with the Max Pack, all the fun ways that you do it, build such strength in your body, the competence in doing them creates the confidence in yourself. And that's why when you look at the words, you might just do one more. You might stay a little longer. You might squeeze a little harder. You might breathe a little deeper. And that's why I put them on there. And also sometimes when I talk too much, and I apologize for that, it gives you a chance to breathe. Because here's where we're gonna really start kicking some butt. All right, so everybody's ready now. Let's take our, um, our red max packs. And we are going to start the whole combination of squat, press, twist, and then we're gonna add in a progression called the squat slice. So grab your max packs back in your sandwich grip. Okay, and we're gonna squat, press, squat, twist. Squat, press, squat, twist. Hold this this way, swing up together, swing together, swing, Together, swing together. Put it back in sandwich. Squat, twist, squat, twist, squat, twist, squat, twist. Swing, squat, together, squat, together, squat, swing, squat, swing, squat, swing, squat, press, squat, press, squat, pivot and press, squat, press, Squat, press, swing, together, swing, together, swing, together, swing, together. Watch this. Slice it down the side of your leg, whip it up through the middle, and whip it up, slice, whip, slice, up, slice, the right leg, up, through the middle, up. When you slice it down the side of your leg, and whip it up the side. You are working the core obliques up to the serratus anterior and your transverse abdominis all at one time. So that squat slice, when you whip it up with the back hand, it's like a bowling ball. And we want you to whip it up all the way to the top, okay? So when you do that squat slice and you do the squat swings, here we go. I want you to pay attention to how you squeeze it and the force from your leg 
and your core, swinging it up. So let's isolate now and just do the slices. So hold it together in your, sim, in your reverse claw grip and put your feet together and sit down in a squat and come down beside your leg. So your hands are at the top and you're right by the side of your quad and pull back with the back hand, whip it up and open your feet. Come through the middle, feet together, turn it sideways, left hand goes back, left side of the body, left calf, whip it up, open your feet, through the middle, whip it up, slice it sideways, whip it up, through the middle, whip it up, and sideways, push through your heels, swing through, feet together, slice, whip. If you do that whip really strong, you're gonna feel it right here on the side of your body. Let me watch you guys. You're all doing so happy, let me see. Squat, swing. Yay, whip it up. Squat, slice. Squat, slice. Woohoo! Okay, take a break. I have a question from Tammy. She wants to know, can exercises be altered to accommodate a torn meniscus knee injury? Yes. So first of all, for knee injury, we want to be very, very careful. Um, I find a lot of times what happens to that is we have been misaligned in our walking, our toes are out, our toes pronate in, our hips are out. And when we're going linearly, which is forward, we have a swish or sway to the body that pulls the leg out. So if you think about it, you're going forward, you're lifting the leg up, you're stepping down, but your foot turns out like a duck. So you're door knobbing your knees, and if you run, it's like jackhammer, you're pulling it out. So my first suggestion for making sure that we don't do that anymore to exacerbate that is make sure your toes are forward, your knees are forward, your hips are forward, and your shoulders. This way everything is working in railroad tracks. So when you are doing the squat swings, I only want you to just back your tushy up and just do more of a Kegel exercise up in your butt and zip up to the crotch instead of sitting way down low and having to push and really put a lot of pressure on the back. Squats really are not about the knees. Squats are about your butt and your hamstring and the strength of your lower back. So really we should be squeezing our tush and pushing through the floor. But a lot of times people put a lot of pressure on the front of their foot and they press up and bounce on their knees. So your structure and alignment are critical for you to improve the work on the knee so that you don't put the force in the wrong direction. So when we're doing these, put your feet a little closer together so they stay or just a little bit with a fist or two between and just do baby ones. And use all the force in your butt, your abs, and your lower back and not on your knees. When you do your step ups, step gently and don't pound, no pounding. And use your breath. Use your breath to use every movement. So you inhale first, exhale, go. Inhale, exhale. And just do it very lightly. If there's really extreme pain and there's a really a, a deep medical problem, then I suggest that you, you, you nix these exercises with your knee and rest and do a little ice and heat. And then of course, nutrients, which is another class another day with collagen and magnesium and turmeric and green tea and gingers. There's a lot of properties in whole foods and in supplements and in herbs and spices. Tumor, 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 one of the best things you can do for inflammatory issues. So we'll get into that in another video. But for Tammy, just, just soften up your move. Don't step so far, don't go so fast. Stay really quiet. Move like a lava lamp inside. Really work your body with your breath. When we do stuff in synchronization, like I keep saying, toes, knees, hips, shoulders, we want to have everything go along nicely without everything being pulled and flailed and yanked out of place. And then we put more resistance and pressure and weight on that. So of course we're going to get injured. So your focus, that's what's also really great about the Max Pack, you must focus on how everything's going on the inside. What muscle am I using? Am I really breathing here? <sighs> squeezing my abs? Am I really gonna focus and pull on my biceps? Yes. Am I gonna squeeze my tush? Yes. Every time I say something and bring your attention to that muscle, you work it more. So if you can, on your own 
practice, start with fingers, abs, and butt on everything, you will always be including more fire and work up inside. You're working from the inside out, not just flapping around. That's called momentum. And I see so many people in every gym, they just swing themselves and use the momentum to get something up instead of locking down and using only their whole muscle power. That's how you gain strength and definition and power in your body by actually using 100% muscle movement. And that's what is most important also about the max pack. There is no momentum in, in all these exercises. We are focusing on pushing and pulling and pushing and pulling and breathing and squeezing. And if you do that with everything you work out with, you will have a killer workout no matter which combination of exercises you do. Any other questions? Yes. Kamisha says, I have three herniated discs. I have huge modifications too. So what modifications for back injury? So it depends on which discs you have, Kamisha, through the spine. But most importantly for you, sweetie, is always make sure you're in alignment. When we start swinging too fast or going too hard, if your discs are already out of alignment, you can make it be more. So I always advise slower movement and more breathing. So whenever you're doing something, I would make sure that I focus totally on what I'm doing so that my back stays in alignment. So when you look lower at back. your lower back, okay. So that's also another problem with our lumbar area when we have those discs. A lot of times when we have a mushy tushy and weak hamstrings, the back of us that usually can do that work, if it's not as strong in the tush, the back does all the work and therefore sometimes that's what is the occurrence from that. So instead of power lifting a lot of stuff at the top which can push down, I would work from the bottom and increase strength in your glutes and in your hamstrings and in your abs by squeezing and pulling nice and light. And then doing a few lower back strengthening exercises. Hold whatever max pack you want. I usually like to take the big aqua one but Flatten your back, put your tushy out, and bend forward and lift up. Bend forward, squeeze your tush, grab your heels in the ground and lift up. And this way, these back extensions can help strengthen your lower back. So we'll get to those. Maybe you'll see me, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one and we'll work on those a little bit more for you, okay, honey? I'm gonna keep on going. Any other questions before we go? We'll have some more time at the end and then we can all meet each other. And I'd love to hear what your favorite things are and what your what your workouts are at home and how they're working for you, okay? So here's another section of workouts for our upper body with the pancake press. So here's how we're gonna now incorporate this one. You must squeeze it together like you're clapping and popping the air out of a balloon and get your fingers on it. Now you just see me. And um, put your elbows out, feet together, inhale, and exhale, press it straight up. Put your elbows by your ears. Can you already feel that? If it is too hard to hold it that way, the modification will be to tuck your thumbs underneath and get your fingers around it and hold it up like this. I like to have the challenge, so I put my hands in the middle, I open up all my fingers, I press my fingertips on it and press straight up. Here's what we're gonna do with our um, side to side stretch now. Lean over to one o'clock and breathe in the side body. Press the heel down. Come back to noon and lean over to the other side. Oop. Lean to the other side and stretch that body. Press the heel down and come up to the center. Other side, stretch to the other side and come to the center. Bring it down in front, turn it forward, press it out and pull it in. Press it out and pull it in. Press it out, pull it in. Let's add our squat to that. Press it out, pull it in, press it down, press it up. Press it down, press it forward, press it in, press it up. Try step press behind, up, down, forward, down, up, down, forward. <laughs> down and up and behind and up and down and out and down and up and behind 
and up. Step it out, press it up. Step it out, press it up. So you can switch your hands in any one of these workouts. If you get a little sweaty, just wipe it off, dry your hands. I have too much lotion on my hands today. Here we go. So at any time, with your squat, press, swings, twists, you can always use the sandwich, the pizza, <clears throat> the pancake press, the taco or hot dog shell. For anyone, press and squeeze, step it out, together. Step it out, together, step it out, switch sides. Step it out, together, switch sides, together. Down and up and down and up and down and up and squat and press, pull it down, press it up, pull it down, press it up. You see how many combinations you can do all over the place in, in so many ways to move your body. Let's take another sip and then I wanna do a little balance and then we're gonna get into some abs. Okay. Mm. Okay. We're gonna get a deep breath. And if you have your Aqua Max pack, pull it back and turn it long ways. Can you guys see me? Okay. The key to balance is internal. It doesn't matter if you are on a max pack, bosu ball, a step, a bicycle, or a ladder. Balance is internal. The cerebellum in your brain says to your body, oh my god, everybody, look out. We're gonna fall. Everybody come together and hold us tight. So when we challenge that by having to step on something that's a little unsteady, whether it's that, a trampoline, a boaster ball, we get to have the brain go, huh, what do we need here? Because this isn't right. And I love it. I love mixing it up. I love when it's hard. I love when it's crazy because I love to make the body have to work so much more that when you finally get off, it goes, oh my God, this is a piece of cake. And that helps improve the strength of your legs, the strength of your abs, the back, and you end up walking taller and more gracefully with greater ab power. And the most important thing, reduce the risk of falling, especially for my seniors. Balance training is everything. If we're already leaning like this, we're 20, 30% of falling. And if an older person who doesn't have great depth perception or strength in their upper back or in their abs, they're going down. And to break something when you're a senior is very, very dangerous because you're immobile. And then, then the circulation is greatly impaired and many people actually pass away from that. But if we start now improving our spinal structure, our upper back, our lower back, and our abs, and our glutes, we will always stand tall and beautiful with confidence and power and never have to worry. So going into our later years, <laughs> here miss lots of birthdays, you know, we want to make sure that we're as healthy and strong as we can always be every day. So here's our challenge for balance. So first, and it can be a challenge for balance and a cardio drill. So center, I'm gonna start with my left foot. You guys start on whatever foot you wanna start on, okay? And make sure your heel and the ball of your foot and the toes are spread apart and give it a minute, put your other foot, your right foot on, the, on your toes and feel where that is. And gently pick up your leg. And just see how much work that is to stand on that. Tap it down if you need and press through it. Tap it down, we're gonna start working out. It's gonna start from slow to catching up more speed. Hold your sandwich grip, press it down, bring your knee up. Press it down, press through, bring your knee up. Step off light, press through, bring your knee up. Let's add that squat, sit down, push through, come up. Sit down, push through the standing leg on the floor or the max pack and come down. Press up, squeeze the abs. Pull down, breathe, into the back. Exhale, press it up. And down, and up. If you wanna make it cardio, speed it up, up. 
and down and up and down and up and down. Okay, switch legs, hop to the other side. Same thing, start slow. And sit it down, press it up, sit it down, control your body and lift. Press that foot through the max pack. You want the max pack to go through the floor. Push it up, come up, come down, press it up. Okay, add some speed. One, and push through the floor. Two, three, four, and five. Can you guys feel your heart getting jacked up on that? It's working for me, I need to take a break. So get some water. Just that little balanced cardio drill is enough to get yourself going, okay? So let me get some water, and then we do some more. Barbara, I can only see me on here. Hope you guys can all see me. Well, the alternative is having to only see a little thumbnail of me. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't realize that. The whole time you only saw a thumbnail of me? No. Hi, guys. Hi. Barbara's here helping me. Thank you for your patience as I, but are you guys only seeing a thumbnail of me when you do that? No, you're fine. Are they seeing all of me? Okay. Okay. Woo. Uh, okay, here comes the recycling garbage, you guys. Sorry. All right. Take a cleansing breath here again. Heart rate down, blood pressure down, adrenaline down. Let's recover. Sip your water, wash out lactic acid, hydrate the body, and cool down the body. Remove metabolic waste. Take a deep breath. Open the heart, slow it down. I always wait for them. Breathe in nice and deep through the, all the way through your chest down into your belly. Exhale it out. Bring your heart rate down, bring your blood pressure down, and bring your adrenaline down. So you want to see your blood pressure slow down. You don't want it fire hosing, you know, on the driveway or, uh, uh, you know, you don't, you want, you, high blood pressure, I'm going to just segue again here just so you hear the science. High blood pressure is when your blood is just coursing through your veins. You've heard that. But every artery and vein, every cell has a protective arterial lining of epithelial tissue of some kind that protect the strength and structure of that cell. So that when you have high blood pressure and it is fire hosing in there, it is pushing at such a high rate of speed and pressure that it starts to wear away and erode that protective lining. And then what happens, the body's self-defense mechanisms go, we need to patch that up, and it's going to look for undigested fat, plaque, triglycerides, cholesterol, and pack that in that ripped off place to which you could get a clot. So the importance of not having high blood pressure, one, is to have a strong heart that can pump a full delicious quart of blood one time. Here it is that big bellow pump, as opposed to 20 squirts of an eyedropper. <laughs> So when we are trying to slow down our body's mechanics, we're doing that for its well-being, for its sense of recovery. You know, it's not relaxing. That's floating on a pool with margarita. But recover is a mindful process where you go inside your body with grace and joy and, and honor to take care of it. You want to make the body be comfortable. And when we jack it up, yay, that's great, but you're not supposed to be driving in fifth gear all day long. You can't park a car in it. So high levels of stress, whether it's from work or family or working out, doesn't matter. Heart rate, blood pressure, and adrenaline flies off the handle no matter what is exciting or fearful. So in order for us to calm that down, we must be so mindful of the processes in the first place and then the methodologies with which to be in control of them so that we have calm instead of chaos. We have control instead of craziness. And then we have this flow instead of being frenetic. And that's another thing about the max pack is it's not, <laughs> it's 
It's that flow. We press the air out. We breathe the air in. It's nothing angry. It's free flowing. It's, it's lava lamp, but it's lava lamp with focus, push and pull. Okay. So here's more balance exercises back on with your left foot. Since we started with our knee up, bring it up and now push it forward and stick your back leg out. Pull it back in. This is more advanced. Press it out and pull it in. Press it out and pull it in. Press it up, kick your leg out. Pull it back, press it forward. Pull it in, press it up, pull it out. Your abs are gonna be on fire and so is your butt cheek. Press it up, push it out. Pull it down, press it out. And for a greater challenge, hold it here and squat press that. Squat, push your heel through the ground and push. Your whole back of the leg should be talking to you. Anybody make that move? Anybody try that squat press? Let's see if you guys do it, excellent. Let's switch our legs. Balance training on the max back. Okay, you might wanna remush your max back to where you feel strong on it. Center your other leg. Let's try it one more time. Bring your knee up. Sandwich grip. Now you can always do this with the pancake press. And if you're really brave, you could do it with a hot dog. And that's a, that's a really killer exercise. Bring the knee up. Press it out. Bring the knee in. Press it up. Whoops, even me. Press it out. Bring it in. Push it out. Pull it in. Press it up. Pull it down. Push it out. Pull it in. So this is what it looks like sideways. Okay. Okay. Ready. Bring it up. Press it out. Pull it in. Press it out. Oh, oh my water. Sorry. Sorry about that. Let's try it again. Knee up, knee up, press it out, pull in, press it up, pull back, press it out, pull in, press it up, pull in, push out. Ah, even me, I work on my balance every day. But this is a fun challenge that we can all do a little at a time. Then we can just put your red one down, turn it back up, and we can just try an airplane squat. Go back to one leg, and if you have the red one, you can just stand on the red one. If you have the blue, just stand on the blue. Open your arms, angel wings, take a breath. Knee up, push it back, and come way forward, and lift your shoulder blades back, touch your shoulder blades, open your fingers. Squat press that, make sure your hips are square and push through the floor. Squeeze and press, inhale in, exhale up, inhale in, exhale up. Clap, lift, swoosh, lift, whoop, swoosh, lift. Here we go. Tuck the knee, bring it out, tuck the knee, tuck it out, tuck the knee, Press it out and hop off. Legs should be talking to you. Okay. Switch your leg one more time. Adjust your max pack. Step back on. Find your footing. Put the ball of your foot on your heel. Spread your toes. Excellent. You go, Rebecca. Woo. Okay, knee up. And out like an airplane. Okay, squat that, push through. Squeeze your abs and your butt, press through with your heel. Those with knee problems, Tammy, Kamisha, I would not recommend this just yet. If you wanna do it, just go like this. Here's your, here is your modification. Just press through, come up. Press through, come up, do a baby tip. Okay, that's your modification. 
Point your toe backwards if you want to. Okay? Everybody else, if you want to try the challenge, push that up. Crunch it in, press it out, crunch it in, whoop, press it out, in and out, and in and out. Four or five is all you need. It travels all the way down through your legs, all the way through your core, all the way through your butt, all the way through your back, and your lats and traps. Okay, take another sip. And now we're gonna get into some lower body ab workout. I'm totally out of water. Okay, so April says, toe tap stabilized through progression for me with the ankle injury. Balance still a challenge, but this helps me work it and build confidence. Yay, thank you, honey, I appreciate that. Yes, we can, that toe tap, here's another modification for that. If you don't wanna, if you don't wanna squat it, just stay with your toe taps. Put your foot behind and lift behind and out to the side, lift out to the side. Squeezing your abs, putting your toes out, so forward, back, and out. If you wanna hold your red one while you do that, extra challenge can help weight you. Forward and back, oops, forward, back, out to the side, out to the side, back. You could just do back ones. You can just do forward ones, lifting up. You can also just press out to the side, press out to the side, press out to the side. Pancake press it. One, two, three, light one. Pancake press, four, and five and six, and then switch, and lift. So these are all different modifications on this balance. Pushing through. It's the push through the floor that drives all the way down the side body through the max pack. And you really wanna give yourself the exhale push with the ab squeeze and pushing through the floor. Okay, take another sip. We're gonna get into some abs. Um, any other questions, you guys? Okay. Let's get one more sip. Let my rag dry out. Okay, everybody, if you've got an Aqua Max pack, or if you have the red one and you want to sit on it, or sit safely on the floor, we're going to work some ab exercises. So I'm going to turn sideways so that you can watch instead of just have my feet go at you. And some of the best workout for your ab is in the hold. So one of the most important things about the ab crunch for the max pack is that we don't, when I see people at the gym, they're going like this, elbow flapping, shoulder yanking, neck, neck pulling. There's zero of that with the max pack. So sit your butt up on your aqua one if you have it, or your red one or your blue one. If you have your red ones, and I have, you know, I'm gonna use two, but whatever modifications you have, squeeze one in your legs, in your quads, okay? And squish your tush in your max pack, find your balance. You might need to move up a little bit, you might need to move back a bit. If you wanna hold the edges, you wanna put your hands on the floor, these are all modifications that can help you with your balance. The very first thing I want you to do, which is the easiest one, if you don't want this in your knees, you don't have to, is just lift up, put your hands on the corner, lift your back up straight, point your toes, have your legs in alignment, none of this. I want you to lift open and lift your legs and just hold. So your abs are lifting the whole part up and your abs are lifting your quads and your feet and the pull of gravity from here to here is what's dragging you down and you're working against it. So that's just a baby modification. You can open your arms and breathe and exhale. And then boat pose for yoga. But you can feel that just pressing your legs in the air, sitting on this, it requires way more work. If you take your red one and put it between your quads, the knee squeeze is what it's called. So here now effectively you're squeezing horizontally, right? And lifting up vertically. And then when you lean, you're gonna be pushing 
and pull, pulling in and pushing out, pulling in and pushing out. Pull, push, pull. If you need your hands on the floor, put your hands on the floor, pull the knees in to the chest, press your heels out, squeeze your quads, bring it knees to nose, press it out, pull it in, press it out, pull it in. If you have the blue or another red, and you wanna add an advanced challenge, this is advanced. Here's the red one. Keeping it squeezed. Squish your tush in here. Hold your sandwich grip. You might need to move forward just a little bit. And press it up and come up as you pull your knees in and squeeze. Pull down and press your heels out. Push up and squeeze in. Pull down and come down. Push up and come up. If you want a bigger challenge with the 16, way more weight coming down, pull down, press up, pull down, press up and squeeze, push out, inhale, exhale up. Breathe in, come in, breathe out, go out. And I tell you, just taking that one extra one is killer work. And I don't do more than four or five myself because that's how effective it is. It's that much work inside the body that you have to press against. So it's unbelievable workout inside. So if you wanna go back to your red one, here's another advanced modification, is side to side. So you see people with a medicine ball, they're flinging, right? So this momentum helps swoosh it to the side. With the max pack, we don't fling. So what I want you to do is, again, Adjust your tush, make sure you're well supported, make sure your back is safe. If this doesn't work for you and you wanna do it long ways, you can put the max pack long ways so you have more support. You have to play with it. Everybody's very unique, has their own body, their own body feel, mechanics. Honor what works safely for you. So here's how I do the corners without doing the flailing. Flailing is against the law with the max packs. So I, crunch up and when I pull down I tap my elbow exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale and get that elbow as far back into the ground as you can for that corner twist right here in the whole side body in your obliques and and <clears throat> over the thoracic anterior so press it up, pull it to the back, press it up, pull it to the back. So as you see, each movement is mindful with the movement, with the breath, with the push, with the squeeze. Inhale, breathe, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, breathe, exhale, squeeze. Let's do four more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, reverse the breath. Inhale, exhale. Ha, huh. that's enough for me. I'm burnt out. So here's the next one. We're just gonna move right along with little itsy bitsy ways that you can just combine a million things. You can't do this with a kettlebell. And it's very difficult to do this with dumbbells. So if you have two or you just wanna use your one red one, flex your toes up and balance your max pack on your ankles. So pull your toes to your nose, secure the max pack on the top of the ankles and the top of the foot, hold the max pack on the back or lean back farther for more support, put your hands on the ground, lift your legs up, pull your knees in, push your heels out. Pull your knees in, push your heels out. Pull your knees in, push your heels out. If you want a killer challenge, take both your red, squeeze the knees, and add the lift. So now this is 16 pounds on the legs. Squeeze and lift, pull in, push out, pull in, push out, pull in, push out. I'm good. 
it's a lot of work to balance, squeeze, press, hold, pull, and push all at once. So as we do these little itty bitty routines and you get stronger and stronger at them, you can combine more ways to work that. So you have the squeeze, we have the lift, we have the push and pull, we have the side press, side press, side twist, we had the ankle lift, pushing and pulling. And now here we have skiing. So put it back in your knees. And if you want to just do it without the max pack, again, we're going to squeeze you hold on or put your hands out, pull up and I want you to twist to your ear, press it out, twist and pull in, press, twist and pull in, press, twist and pull in. Make sure it's nice and elongated so it fits all the way in the inside of your thighs. Press and pull and press and pull. It's like you're skiing, like shushing down a mountain. Pull up sideways. Press, pull, push, pull. So when we do this, there's no flailing. At no time do we elbow flap, neck yank, or shoulder pull. It was precise, concise, 100% muscle movement in the abs. We were drawing things in by this contraction, not this flailing and flapping. So when we eliminate momentum and use 100% muscle movement, that's how you get some max pack abs and max pack arms. And so here's another way that we can incorporate some upper body with that. And what I do sometimes, I'm gonna turn this way is I like it I like mine I like mine a little wider and you know what just moving them around is your exercise too half my exercise is moving all my stuff around picking it up and putting them down so here's another way to do um, muscle movement in the middle of the abs so we're gonna offset it everything you know we had it um, with the sandwich grip so here go back to your pizza press Find your spot. Again, now here if you have the blue one, you can always use the blue one as your partner drill. Like instead of having somebody hold your ankles, the blue one is great for support and for stability if we need this. So we always use this one if we need that extra help. And put it in your pancake press, elbow down, straight up, press it up. Pull down, come down, press up, come up. Breathe in, coming in, press it up. Exhale up, breathe in, come in, exhale up. If you wanna add that in your quads for another challenge, whether it's the red or the blue, pull it down, press it up, pull it down, tap, lift. Breathe in, come in, breathe out, go out. Breathe in, come in, and breathe out, go out. Switch the other side. Arm out, tap. I leave my arm out for balance. Also still works the shoulder, having to hold itself up out there. Squeeze your knees. Come down slow on your back. Press it up, come up. Come in, breathe in. Ha! Ah, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, pull down. Breathe out. Come up. I tell you, I'm spent already. Even just doing these short little intensity drills, lots of them, they're a killer workout. And then when I'm done, I love to just sit and relax on them. But also they're wonderful for you when you're doing your recovery. You can add it to a motivation and a meditation. So when I'm done and I'm tired, I just sit on them, scooch your tush in the middle. And here's another thing, a lot of times people when they sit for meditation and they're on the floor, their back is rounded and their hips are down. So they sit, they sit like this. It's hard to lift up and have that strong, stable spine, right? We really have to work those muscles. It's great if you could sit like this without having to sit on anything, but it's very hard for most people's back, especially Kamisha, with your lower lumbar. This is a lot of work to start if, you're, if your back isn't in good shape. So what I would do to help assist with this is sit up on your max pack, sit on your blue one, and right away your hip alignment is straighter. Pull your butt cheeks out, and immediately, I'll turn sideways, 
immediately it's more comfortable, squish your tush in there, and your back is in perfect alignment. So to sit here in meditation and say your mantra motivation, I am strong and powerful, I am in radiant health, and all the cells of all my body work in perfect harmony with each other and with God and the universe in my highest and best radiance and light force and energy so that I am the master of this machine and I honor it with strong, intense, but careful exercise. I drink fresh water, I eat live foods, and I honor the gift of being alive in this body on this planet today. And I wanted to say I'm so grateful and blessed to have all of you join me. I know sometimes I'm skipping around because I've just got so much in my head. I'm, <laughs> I'm excited to share all the different ways that the Max Pack can benefit your life and improve your muscle strength and your cardiovascular ability, your st stability and balance, and overall general physical health and fitness. And I wanted to give it the floor back to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. How much time do we have? Oh, about five minutes. So I want to see if you guys can all say hello to each other. And I would love to hear, I'm gonna open up the mics. Barbara's gonna help me out with this. Tell me what your favorite one was. Tell me the ones you hated. Tell me ones you wanna see or work on. I would love to hear your feedback on this very first Zoom Max Pack. We're gonna do some more in the future with more exercises. Who wants to go first? You can unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. You Terry Michaels, was that you waving to me? Let me scoot up so I can see you guys. Tammy? Tammy? Yeah. I can't hear you though. Tammy. I can't hear you guys. You can't you can't hear oh, me? Your microphone? My microphone's on. My microphone is on. Let me see. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on one second. Okay, try now. I think am my I mic oh, it's on. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Okay. All the way from Canada. <laughs> All the way from Canada. Yay. Woo. <laughs> tell me, honey, what's up? What'd you like? Uh, it was very difficult because I'm out of shape, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> um, I tried to modify the twisting probably wasn't the best thing. Hey, Wayne. Oh. Is that um, my the, tw the twisting probably wasn't the best thing, but what I did like was when I had to squeeze my glutes because my right glute is very weak compared to my left one because I wasn't turning on, because of my knee, I wasn't turning on the left uh, muscle in my, um, of course, I don't know the word because I'm over 55. And it just <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> Almost, no. Not all. But. <laughs> so I'm working with a physiotherapist. I'm going to be doing the GLAD program. So the Aqua is going to be great for stability. Yes. Wonderful, honey. Thank you for sharing that. Anybody else? Terry. Unmute. Open your, unmute yourself. Unmute. There you go. Am I, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my favorite is um, working my triceps, right? Oh yeah, yeah. the tricep press. Yeah. Yeah, we, we even forgot to do our bicep curls, you guys. I forgot to do bicep curls. That's on the website though. You can modify bicep curls. So my All favorite, which I, I work out at least five, six days a week with my max packs. In between I do yoga, but my favorite workout is one of my favorites is standing on the aqua, legs together, and I'm just bringing it back, bringing it forward. Oh, and I like that good. one. Tell, tell me if I'm breathing right. Inhale down, exhale Inhale up. while you're up, stretch that body. Breathe in while you're here, and exhale, squeeze and twist it at the top. Got it, okay. 
Breathe in, come when you drop it back behind you. That stretches the whole front of the body, the chest, the ribs, the diaphragm. Get that super big breath and then you pack. So it travel <laughs> distance up and squeeze at the top and squeeze your abs and ground your heels in the max pack that you're standing on and press <laughs> and squeeze your fingers at the top. Excellent. Yeah. I do 20 of those along with uh, three other exercises that I'm addicted to, but I'm gonna branch out and do a little bit more different things, but th that's one of my favorites. That's I see a difference in my arms. Yay, Wayne. Hi, brother. Okay, who else? Anybody else I'd love to hear? Hey, Andrea. It's Hi, Jean. Annie, how are you? Yeah, good. I think all of it was really beneficial. Um, all of it, all of the arms, the abs, um, I didn't realize you could stand on the max pack, which yes. to me was huge regarding balance. So I think all of it was great. I don't have any other comments about it. It's awesome. Great job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, um, Dow, are you there? I see I don't you know. there, sort of. That's April? Hi, honey. Hello. How's your knee? your ankle it's feeling, I mean, it's feeling pretty good i am um, it all i thought it was very um challenging and um the balance was great for me especially and i really really loved it and i'm happy to see um the success and it all come to fruition and everybody using it it's awesome and i'm going to be definitely using it a lot let's, 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 let's call me later for a setup okay all right i'm so glad you were here today i'm so happy to see you <laughs> it's been all this time i've known april we were in our coaching uh, our well coaches uh, certification class together and she was my coaching partner and we became fast friends and i'm so happy you're here with me on this journey honey i'm so appreciative and yay love it it's great and um done, Ange. hey wayne excellently done my brother wayne here is a, as a triathlete and uh um, bike ride now I'm on a bike right now. Okay, cool. Okay, Good job, Angie. I'll, I'll be in touch. Love you. Love you too, honey. See you next time. I'll call you later. All right. Okay, everybody else still here? Nicole. Nikki. Hey, sweetie. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Did you get a chance to jump on some of the call? Not until later. So I, I see you're recording it, so I can't wait to play it back when you, we got to upload you to YouTube. You know, I am such a sweaty mess. I'm here in the garage and it was so <laughs> You look yeah. great, as always. <laughs> Happy to see you, love. You too. Uh, hi, Annie. Rebecca. Hey. <laughs> Would you love the best? Would you love the worst? What'd you say? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, I love how versatile everything is. So it's something that you can use this for to really work out your whole body really efficiently. So, I mean, I'm such a busy schedule that efficiency is really key. So to be able to really target everything, I mean, you know, if you, if you really wanted to be motivated and do it without breaks, which I like to do, you know, I could really hit everything in just, you know, 20 minutes. Um, yeah. And I could just be, you know, sore for days. So, um, and yeah. True, and that and that's why I did it because you can really do it in the body. It takes less workout, don't you? But for my very first Zoom, I wanted to explain the nuances so that when you do go do them on your own, you're doing them as effectively and fully as you can, knowing how to squeeze and push and squeeze and pull and squeeze and weave and work the body individually on one side at a time really hard, then switch to work the other side really hard, then work it together in unison. Really smush into it with your feet, you massage your toes, your arches, your heels, really squeeze, squeeze into it for a bicep curl. I mean, just look holding it. Look at the work all the way through the pack. Just by the That's because you're already strong. <laughs> no, I've been well, in years, and I have to tell you, the, the multi use of it and the no momentum part of it what really gets your definition immediately so you can really shred yourself and depending on how often you do it like in four to six weeks you can really really squeeze and squeeze, squeeze well and that's that's something 
So, so I, I mean, I used to be a college athlete, but that was a decade ago. And so, you know, I like I've gotten very, very, very out of shape. I've lost 20 pounds of muscle mass. I've had some injuries. Um, so like all my joints are weak. I have pre-rheumatoid arthritis. Um, so, you know, all of those things like it's like I have to really strengthen all the um, all my joints. So I'll sometimes and usually it's like the other way. I just it's going to slip right now. But like I'll do this just to strengthen my wrist. Oh, that's a good idea. So, so literally, hold on. <laughs> so literally just taking it and going like this. Excellent, honey. Oh, that's a good so idea. I, I like I'll, that. Yeah, so, and then I'll kind of go in other directions also. So this is just really helping with wrist strength. And you can do that with every single joint. So you can do it with the elbow joint. I'm doing it with the shoulder also. So all those things, um, you know, it really just helps to, to strengthen all of those joints that are otherwise really weak. So if you're having any issues with anything during these workouts, you know, just make sure that you're strengthening, just, just being really conscientious um, and very slowly strengthening those joints. Yeah, see, it's really great for rehab. You know, and that's when I messed up my shoulders with both. I wanted to put some nuts and bolts and screws in there. I'm like, no, 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 I don't want the hardware. And it took me a while, but I rehabbed my shoulder from a torn rotator and a few different times I've injured it. And every time with new strength foods and rest and my max stats, I have healed it. And it does work. I've, I've worked with so many people for rehab and I've sold them to um, therapy offices and doctor's offices and people in yoga, Pilates, and restaurants. It's hard to hear you. Hard to hear me. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Up the rain. Oh, it's starting to rain now, and all my equipment that I put out of the gym in the dryer is all getting wet. And Andrea, when is this recording going to be ready so I could send it out? Well, I want to maybe edit some of the parts where I like, spilled the water and I slipped off my max. <laughs> Let me just say, it's an honest workout. I mean, even me, as much as I train, I have to focus and work on my balance every day and people want to people want to see that andrea okay, it's okay. yeah the authenticity you know i'll yeah, just let it go it. out as it is and well, we'll you just... can have two versions if you want no no you know what i it is really true i i mean uh, you know we're all human and your body does whatever it is you're focusing on in that moment and if you aren't focusing you can step off if you aren't fully in control of your abs or you're squeezing something or you slightly moving a little off center it could be that much and that's the thing about the tweak that much can toss you or keep you on and by finding that nuance within your own body and that own particular amount of um focus you can you can pull yourself back from that edge sometimes i felt my foot because it's in the max pack and it's sinking finding myself pulling myself off balance and i've got the eight pound so I'm going to tweak over here and pull myself back up. If I'm pressing out and I feel like I'm going to fall back, I will squeeze my glutes and work my back to help pull myself back up. So even if you're offset in one section, the other part of your body is going to help you realign itself. And that takes great focus. So when you're really working out with the max pack like this from the inside, you're not making a grocery list. You mm -hmm. are really going inside your body and going, where can I squeeze and breathe what muscle am i working and how can i work it more and how can i work it in synchronicity with my breathing and in synchronicity with other parts and as you progress in your practice and become stronger and more competent in the variabilities the confidence to just go and make up your own routines i use them jumping on trampolines and bouncing on the bosu ball i use them on a weight bench i use them on a decline bench for abs i take it to the military level where you pull up on the iron rings and squeeze in your knees and do an ab crunch. There's so many different ways to do it. And I just want you guys to find whatever is the happiest, most fun for you and create your own. That's why I made them. They're so versatile. All the ways you can hold it and squeeze it and do it. You know, it, it's, it's a free for all. I, um, I'm always tickled pink. When someone shows me a different way to use it than I, then I got a thousand ways for me to work my own product <laughs> and my own max bag, right? And then somebody will come along and go, I use it like this. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even know that. And so I learn from all of you. And then it just helps me realize well, how great this, this training implement really is for everybody because across so many demographics, 
it's safe and effective for just about everybody, even with injuries. And that's the thing is you can really rehab your injuries safely with them. So I want to invite you all to email me, call me, text me. If you want to schedule your own personal one-on-one -on -one Zoom or Skype workout, I would love, love, love to do that with you guys. Okay. I think we're kind of running out a little bit of time. Is there any last hellos, hurrahs, whatever you want to say, please, please join in before we have to go. Nope, all good. We're yes. all good? It's wonderful. Yeah. I, need to, yeah. I need to scoot, Andrea. Okay. My girls are in town. Good to Everybody, see you, Rebecca. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Very nice for coming. April, thanks for coming from Tennessee. Tammy from Canada. My brother from Atlanta. And Phil Thanks. from New Jersey. And uh, Dow from uh, D.C. Nikki from D.C. Yeah, you guys. I love you all. Okay, bye. Love you Thanks back. for coming. Yay. Can't wait to share it. Thanks, <laughs> Okay. Bye.